Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we have another unboxing slash review video for you, and it's for a bike rack. This is the kind of bike rack for those who like to buy things once and then not again. My son and I, our family likes to get out and bike, and we've gone through a few bike racks. I used one of those Yakima flip-up racks that you can put up to four bikes on. This summer I bought one of those Yakima two-timer racks and I found myself fixing parts on it and things falling off of it. And another friend of mine got one of these One Up USA bike racks. One Up USA is a small company based in Dickieville, Wisconsin. They make stuff for biking enthusiasts and they make stuff that lasts. I've just heard nothing but good things about them, but they're like 600 bucks just for the two up version. And then you can add you know, additional bikes for about $200 per rack. Like most things COVID and outdoor related, when we went to try and place an order in October, it said that you couldn't even place an order until after the first of November. And that's what we did. November 2nd, we placed an order and it said that they wouldn't probably touch the order for about 45 days, but actually it was just under 45 days when we actually got the rack. So we've had it since early December. Uh, I'm gonna show you today just the unboxing, and then we're gonna take a couple of bikes to and from the bike store here to test it out a little bit to get our spring tune-ups done on the bike so that when the winter thaw happens here in the spring in Minnesota, and we're able to get out riding again. We ordered the two inch heavy duty double silver slotted HB rack. You can get a super heavy duty one. You can also get one that's got wider racks for fat tires and so on. We first got it unboxed and then there's these little blue tabs that you need to flip out in order for the wheel trays to rotate out to the side. So we flipped all four blue arms out and then we're able to rotate out the wheel trays and then lock them back in place with the little blue tabs. Everything is made solid out of seem to be machined aluminum. The two inch receiver hitch mount has a ball in it and uh, there's a special tool that comes along with the rack, like an Allen key tool that will allow you to tighten that onto the vehicle. Overall, the rack is just super well constructed. It's very clean, it's heavy. All of the one up bike racks also include a hitch receiver lock. That's actually smaller than a lot of the two inch receiver holes that kind of surprised me at first, but with the, the ball lock on the receiver hitch, we, we didn't really need the lock to support any of the weight of the receiver. It just simply passes through the hole and locks. It's got a little threaded end and then the actual lock itself fits on the end and then threads on with the key. Now that the rack's put together, let's go get it put on the car. Our car has a two inch receiver. You can get an adapter from One Up USA for a smaller receiver, like a one and a quarter, but ours is the standard two inch class three hitch and it just slid right in perfectly. Once it's slid in and mounted on the car, we then put the receiver lock through there. It took me a little bit to figure it out, but the lock actually threads on, as I said, with the key and gets tightened. And then there's a little dust or a weather cap that covers up the key slot. After that, we then used the supplied Allen wrench tool and tightened down the rack, which it, I mean, it, you can crank on it pretty good and the thing just locks to the car really tight. Then there's also a bar that has the handle that you can raise and lift the rack into different positions and that's lockable too. So you just spin up this lockable twisty thing and then it's able to release and then you're able to flip the bike rack down and there are three positions. You can leave it up out of the way, you can leave it out flat to where you want to mount the bikes and we did notice that we were able to clear the bike rack with the tailgate when it was in that position. But then there's also a lower position where in case your tailgate doesn't clear it, you can drop it down slightly and get it to get out of the way of your tailgate. After it was locked in place, we spun that knob back down to tighten the release and make it so that it wouldn't pop into a different position. In the other racks that we used when we were mounting two bikes, we noticed the bikes were level with one another side to side. This design, the bikes are staggered, so the bike that's further back away from the car actually is slightly higher than the one in front and it allows you to clear seats and handlebars a lot better when you're mounting the bikes. Well, let's go downstairs and grab my bike that's on the trainer and let's load it up and take that in to get tuned up. To mount the bike rack, you just lift up the red arm 
and then slide the wheel holder out on either front and back. The bike drops in really easy and then the arms just simply close back over and lock in with pressure against each of your wheels. The neat thing about that is no part of the bike rack actually touches the bike itself and so there's really no possibility of paint damage or damage to your bikes when you're transporting them like we've experienced with other racks that we've used. Well, it's a week or so later. We got the first bike tuned up. That one's back. I brought another one in and now we're headed over to Michael's Cycles in Chaska, our local little bike shop. We're gonna go in and see my buddy McKeeza and, and pick up the bike and uh, try this rack out one more time. Oh yeah. What do you think? It's good. Yeah? It's good. We gotta pay you for it though. You guys need to have a uh... Like body cam, just walk around with body cam all the time. Now, can you adjust these for uh, fat tires? Yeah, you just get a, you just get the plus one. They're just a little wider. Because that's the reason why I got rid of my bike rack. Because I couldn't put my fat tire on the back of it. This is the two up version, but then you can buy an attachment uh -huh. and go up to four. The easiest way to get the bike off the rack is to start with just either the front or the rear tire, leaving one of the tires clamped down so it supports the bike. Just raise the red arm and keep the little aluminum piece vertical or level so that the, the arm slides away smoothly without catching on the little locks. Once you get one tire free, then you can actually hold onto the bike and release the other arm, push the bike forward, and then lift it out of the rack. And then these lift up and push down. You wanna kind of push it up so that this is level, otherwise it'll grab. So you kind of push it up so it's level, and then that's the easiest way to get it to move. One Up USA does sell a mount or a hanger for the rack so you can hang it up in your garage. But instead of spending additional money on that, we decided to just build something on our own. So simply we just found a couple studs, figured out an area where we wanted to mount the rack. We cut a section of two by four so we could span the studs. And then we went down to our local home improvement store, Menards, and picked up some hooks, just ladder hooks is all they were and measured it up and then put those in three and a half inches apart so that the ends of the hooks would fit in between the wheel trays on the rack. With that, we were able to just quickly and fairly easily hang the bike rack up on these hooks right inside the garage. Oh, like a glove. Well, now that the bike rack is off the car and hung up for the probably foreseeable future until we get some good riding weather here in Minnesota, we thank you for watching. I will put a link to 1UP USA in the description below if you wanna check out their stuff. I bought this rack with my own money. I am not being paid at all to uh, market or promote this product. It's just, you know, it's you find something that works or that in the bike community that, that is working and it's just an honor to promote it. So, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you liked the video, Feel free to smash that like button and uh, subscribe to our channel. We do love to get outdoors, explore, escape quarantine, and make memories a fam as a family. And we try to do it on a budget. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you again soon.